Welcome everyone to Charts Focus 1 where we teach you how to work hard and trade smart. In this live stream recap video, I want to talk about how we caught this triple percentage return of 175% plus on ticker symbol LABU, a 45% plus return on SHLS, and 38% plus on TSLA. Now, as a disclaimer, we are still swinging all three names, so we are biased to the long side. I won't be providing the exact contracts that we got for each name, but I will be providing the specific areas of our entries for each name. But due to a personal emergency, I was only able to give out every single point of entry through the live chat instead of a live stream. But no matter the vehicle of the messages, as long as my members were able to execute with me, I am happy. Okay, let's kick this off with LABU, LABU. So the CFO Swing & Watch members all had their eyes on XBI and LABU for weeks. So this is the biotech uh, ETF and uh, this ETF holds mostly small to mid cap biotech stocks. Now this XBI was in the CFO Spring & Watch newsletter and both XBI and LABU were mentioned multiple times in the private CFO Discord for weeks. Now XBI had a clear resistance to go through which was $83. So this horizontal level right here on the daily time frame and you can clearly tell that there was a lot of coiling going on just based on the price action and just based on the SMAs alone, all these squiggly lines. So the logic was that if XBI breaks out of its respective coiled base, we can also see LABU, LABU, the three times leveraged ETF following along as well. The only thing is that if we were to keep up with both names, we needed to choose and hone in on just one name to trade. So we ended up with LABU as that will give us a better percentage return as a three times leveraged ETF. So just like XBI, we had a very tight coiled up base that took three months plus to form. So it's a very macro base. And this base ranged from $6 to $8.40. And I wanted to see a very clear entry point over $7.10. So that is what we did. So as you guys can clearly see, we have a base of $6, a base support at $6, and a base resistance around $8.40. And our clear level of entry point was obviously through this horizontal level of resistance at $7 or specifically $7.10. And I knew that this one had to break once we started to see a converging point of this descending resistance trend line and that horizontal resistance level at $7.10. And that converge, convergence point occurred yesterday. Now, we were able to get a very nice entry point and an ad yesterday as shown on both of these arrows. Okay, so, oh, excuse me, just on this specific arrow. So our entry and our first ad to that principal position was through this first arrow and so we got in right here and then that ad was on this 15 minute candlestick and from that point forward we continued to make new high of the day throughout the rest of that trading day then today we we're able to add again as shown on the second arrow now this was the retest of the $7.10 resistance level as new support 
as it was a previous level of old resistance. I waited for the confirmation before the ad as usual, which is why I did not add right at the first retest of that level as shown on this specific 15 minute candlestick. So this one right here when the market opened. And so we saw that incredible bounce as the entire market reversed off of the lows that it made. Now, on the daily time frame, okay, we saw a very large left off in price today. And this is a breakout swing, a specific swing trade that you want to be in. It is showing all the signs of a great breakout as it even retested the specific area where the daily 200 SMA in yellow is sitting at. And it also went above our first profit target level of $8. And you can clearly tell that we saw an increase in volume. Now I am wanting a very nice one to three risk to reward ratio for this one. And I think you guys can do the math on that using our entry price point. And that is the story of how this trade has currently returned over 175% plus for our CFO Swing & Watch members. Now, let's go on and move to ticker symbol SHLS. So this one was very, very interesting. A CFO Swing & Watch member was talking about solar yesterday, so I decided to scan all the solar stocks that I knew of with the presumption that they were still heading lower. But surprisingly, I came across multiple solar names that were starting to bounce and recover from their recent fall, which led me to this specific ticker, SHLS, Scholes. And this name was showing a potential recovery reversal as it started to peak above this descending resistance trend line on the daily. Okay. Now the perfect entry was the break over $24. So this is a uh, level that has been used multiple times as level of support and resistance, but it was too late. Uh, the stock was already making new high of the day at the point of when I came across it. Now, I decided to try my second best option in this situation, switching to my favorite momentum 15 minute time frame. And there it was. A perfect bull flag was forming on the 15 minute time frame with consistent volume coming in as well. And this, this was all happening uh, as the stock made new highs of the day. And so thanks to this bull flag, we're able to snag an early entry right below an intraday support level of 25.50. So right over here, so 25.50, which is our intraday level of support, which also goes right through this bull flag. And we're able to go in right underneath it on this specific candlestick. And so we held until the end of yesterday and swung it overnight. So here comes today with SHLS gapping up nicely over that intraday bull flag resistance level of 25.80. Okay. And straight up pumping through every supply area on the daily time frame. And this gave us a return of 45% so far. Now our next uh, profit target level is now sitting at $28. So right over here, which will give us a nice one to three risk to reward ratio. And with our maximum profit tar target level at $30 plus, which would give us a great one to five risk to reward ratio. And that one to five risk to reward ratio is always desirable in a great swing trade. So always, always 
keep that specific ratio in mind. And last but not least, we have our Tesla swing, TSLA. Now, this one was challenging to get in as it is still quite hard to determine if this name had bottomed. But based on the price action and volume that we got on the January 6th candlestick right here, that may have been the capitulation candlestick that we needed to start reversing for an oversold bounce. Why? Because we made new lows, all right, for the start of this new year of 2023 with very, very big volume. And so on the 15 minute time frame, as usual, my favorite, favorite time frame, my all time favorite, we got an entry right at the bounce of the intraday support level of 120 as shown by the arrow here. So this specific candlestick. And we had just broken above that 120, which was a level of resistance in the price action shown here. So 120 was a huge level of intraday level of resistance. And once we broke above that, we came back down to retest it as a level of support. And this, again, this 120 intraday level of resistance was created thanks to the higher highs and higher lows that we made. And ultimately, that led to a breakout in the price action above 120. But we can't just focus on the smaller time frames here specifically for this name. So if you take a look at the two hour time frame, we are seeing a very nice inverse head and shoulders, right? So we have our left shoulders here and then our inverted head and then our right shoulder. Now I notified my members about this chart pattern, but I also added that this was going to be a very high risk swing trade. Why? Well, if there's still more selling to come, we can completely negate this inverse head and shoulders chart pattern and just simply move sideways, right? And remember, sideways can also include a very large move down and then a very large move up and then again. And the pattern repeats over and over and over again until we just simply start making a very wide, large base. And that specific sideways price action will kill our option contracts premium and we would need to get out at our specific stop losses. So I am looking for a very quick and volume backed breakout over that neckline resistance of 123.50, which we actually ended up closing above on. And so eventually a break over 126, which is our biggest resistance level that we need to break out of, okay, will provide us with a larger reversal on the daily and the weekly time frames. And our maximum profit target will be $135 for TSLA as shown on the weekly here and on the daily as well. And so we have swung this name with the return of 38% plus since entry so far. So let's see what we end up with tomorrow at close. All right, that is it for this video. If you liked what you heard, please leave a thumbs up down below. And if you're new here, check out the description box below for the subscription link to the CFO Spring & Watch newsletter. And make sure you guys check out the other live stream recap videos to continue your learning and trading. Thank you so much for watching.